We'll find out real soon. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'll put this bird in the bag. It'll, it'll help me hold it. And keep it nice and calm. We're gonna check, see if it's banded or not. And it's not. Just uh, hold the foot. Close the lower leg. Yep. Uh -huh. Just a little bit ago. So here's the band on the bird's leg. Right there. Um, each band has a letter and five numbers. No, you, uh, you just called this now? Uh, a few minutes ago. Oh. So is this one you banned it? Just did I just, it. Just he now just did, did it. it. Oh, but it wasn't banned before. No. Uh -uh. Oh. What do you do if it's already been banned? You just record which... Record the number. Uh -huh. So how do you know how old that bird is? Well, I'm uh, a couple ways. Um, I'll look at the uh, look at the beak, and if it has grooving, that's one way of telling. And with a male, and uh, this bird's kind of hard to tell. Uh, if I just from looking at the throat, I think it's a young male. So we'll we'll know real quick. Oh. Yep. Okay. So this bird is a female. A female. Uh, and the wing is what tells you that. Uh, awesome. One of the ways, uh huh. Um, right here, uh, this primary right here is yeah. called P6. If it has the has the outer vein, it's a female. If it's shaved off like this one is, it's a male. Wow. And so I opened up the wing, and then I could tell real quick this this is a female. Wow. Uh, the next way I can tell is by measuring. Uh, females are bigger than males, so they're going to have a uh, longer wing and a longer beak. And this wing is 44.37. Um, and if it was a male, it'd have a wing about 40 millimeters instead of 44. So that just kind of confirms the other uh, the other uh, ID. So 26 for the tail. Uh, measure the beak. Oh. And. The beak is 19.63, so it's a very long beak. So that confirms that we also have a female. I look for grooving, and that's a way of telling if I have a young bird or an older bird. This has very shallow grooving, but it is a young bird, so um, it's like 30%. So young is in what? How old is uh, it? It just, just means that it hatched the summer. Uh, generally, like late May, early June. Okay. Uh, that's about when the first clutches are, are, are coming out. So that is young. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, birds lift quick. You know, this yeah. bird will be, uh, this bird will be, uh, she's on her own. Uh, what, a couple months old now, um, and she'll be, you know, fattening up and heading to Mexico. <laughs> and, really? Yeah. To yeah. whoop it up sometime in your life, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's uh, not one then that stays in the winter, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Just the red neck ones are the ones that stay. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, some of the rufous come in in the winter, but primarily almost all the ruby birds. Ruby birds have a real hard time in the winter, and so they really don't spend the winter here at all. How, how do birds find their hummingbird feeder? There's just a small in the wilderness. I mean, you're imagining your little thing, you're flying. And how do you spot this little thing? We think they can see a feeder like three quarters of a mile away. Wow. So they're, and that's that's their survival. But so how they can, would they, they know that's a flowers. feeder? I mean, they just know a flower. I see. Yeah, they know flowers. They you know. And there's a lot of instinct at play, and, and hummingbirds are extremely curious. They'll they'll investigate different things, and they they'll learn real quick. That's a, almost an unlimited source of food. Awesome. So once they once they try it once or twice, they're they're. They, they keep going back. Why do they make that noise they make when they're yeah. moving? They don't make it when they're eating. Yeah. A, what? a little chatter, a little chirp chatter thing they do. Um, yeah. Sometimes they're uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's not when they're eating. It's not when they're scared. Yeah. I mean, like right now, they're not doing this. So yeah. I can't uh -uh. figure out why they do it midair. Yeah. Oh, sometimes when they're unsure, they'll make this little ticking sound. So yeah. I ever, yeah. Um, I know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know for sure. But you know? You know? Why? Their wings make the noise. I'm gonna wait on the sky and I'll check them for fat. For hours. They're pretty fast, aren't they? They're very fast. Uh huh. When, uh, my hummingbirds, I've got about 20 hummingbirds, and when I feed them, uh, I can they'll come they'll come around me when I'm hanging my feeders up. It's because they used to me or something. Um, partly, yeah, partly, yeah, and and part of it's too like right now uh, when I do my banding at home, I'm getting like 90% youngsters and 10% adults, and it's part of it's just like young young and dumb. They don't know. Uh-uh. When my yeah. husband they gets out there, know. they run from him. But yeah. when I come out there, they, they're coming uh, to me because they know, I guess. Yeah. Why were you blowing it with uh, a straw? 3.35. I'm uh, checking for molt and looking for fat. So I, I, blow, I blow the feathers out off from the, uh, out just to part them from the belly. And that way I can see, you can see right through the skin. And you can see fat underneath the skin. Oh my goodness! Look for off to look for molt. And molt is one of those things we uh, evaluate and, and kind of keep track of uh, when we're when we're birds. Why do so they have molt? Huh? Why do they have Why do they have molt under there? Uh, molt. It's, it's uh, they, sh they shed their feathers and they grow out a whole new set. Okay. Because um, the feathers, that's what keeps them warm. Right. That's what keeps them and dry. And that's what you see just when you blow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That is cool. Um, uh, that's when they're born, they're born with no feathers. That's what my husband read to me. Right. How long does it take them, the babies, to get feathers? Oh, golly, maybe a couple weeks. Uh, they spend about three weeks in the nest, so they grow feathers actually pretty quickly. I'd say maybe after a week or so, they'll start, they'll start getting them. They'll have down, but then they, but before the feathers start coming, it'd be a, at least probably a week. Well, when he read it to me, it says that they ha they feed every 15 minutes. Uh huh. So that's why I'm a I guess I'm that's not where the I'm protein s comes in. I know. Uh, yeah. Are, are you going to release it? Uh huh. Oh. We'll take everybody out and we'll release it out, out there. Wow. Um, and also, um, I, I, I'm constantly changing my. If it don't look good, I'm always pulling sugar water all the time and, yeah. and hanging up. And everybody wants to get a picture. Come on in close and get your close picture. Aww. Let me get it. birds have to eat their own weight in nectar every okay. day, so it really doesn't matter if it's orange or purple or green. If they can get food, they're all over it. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh. They have a very high metabolism, probably the highest metabolism of any creature we know about. Wow. Whoa. So we were trapping them over here. They, they fly into metal cages with a door with a feeder inside. When they get inside, they want to fly up. And so we just sort of gently go with our hand and sort of get them in a, a grip like we have now. Did you get every good picture? Yes. Do I hear it chirping? Yeah. yeah. They make a little chirp noise. Do you feel it moving in their oh, yeah. you feel, you feel It's it. fluttering. It's sort of like a vibration almost. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Okay, so quick, quick, quick. The the uh, the light you're seeing, the pretty colors, aren't really pigment in their feathers. It's a microstructure in the feathers that reflects light in that color, and we see it that way. They actually see colors slightly different than we do, and it helps them be able to tell each other apart. That's part of it, yeah. But in this case, the feathers don't really have any color in them. Right. It's just they reflect light that way. Right. Because they're looking at a different place they're in the spectrum. Here. Yeah, so I yeah. Have, I have a question. Yeah. Last year, I got to release uh -huh. from my hand. Uh-huh. Can she do it this year? Who is she? This lady sure. in the top one, that would be awesome. Okay. That's a, like, we, we have been all year waiting for that. All year. Okay. Thank you so much. So did you guys see all this? Yeah, right. Let me get a it's not going to hurt you. Green. They don't, they don't even bite. I didn't They're think really the females tiny. would be so colorful. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not, re yeah. It's really neat. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Close enough. You see, they want to scare if I, you. If I had a flower, it'd just come right to me. 
Probably, yeah. It's all about the food. They got to eat just all the time. Except this one probably wants to get away right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you could come forward, make a little space so it can see some sky. And I want to get a picture of you doing this. Okay. Now, some of them, when they get captured, just sort of lay there. Some of them are, are more active. Active, thank you. And this one certainly is. So if you come forward, just sort of aim. You gonna do it? Or? No, I just want her to be with me. Okay. Okay. So put your hand out flat, and we're just gonna keep your hand there. It's gonna buzz, but you don't have to be startled. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna bite you. It's got nothing to do that with. And sometimes, sometimes it will uh, come off right away, and sometimes it'll sit there for a minute. Okay. Ready? Oh. oh, is it still there? Hold it, hold it. What is that? A feather. Oh, my God. A feather? Don't pick it off. Yeah, especially with songbirds. You just want to take off. You don't want to see your mocking birds with the fuzz berries around. Whoa, that's a feather? Whoa, that's a little feather. <laughs> oh my goodness. Awesome. That's cool. That's wow. You can tell people at school about this. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Wow. We finally hit it. I mean, last year we were here, no hummingbird. This year there were. Well, you know, we so, can't but, make nature do stuff. So. Right, right, yeah. exactly. In fact, I didn't expect that we would see one at all yeah, because yeah. of what they've been telling us. And well, then all of a sudden, there's yeah. three up there. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. lucky here. We we're, we're constantly back there going, well, maybe we move the trap yeah. over What grade here, are you in net, school? Open a net or don't open a net. Oh, well, you can tell all your kids in school that about this. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. We're trapping them up at a yeah. up around this loop. Oh, yeah. so you can see wow. what we're doing. Oh,